a historic and perilous moment in Louisiana. For only the second time ever, engineers today will open a spillway that will unleash waters from the overflowing Mississippi River directly into populated communities on purpose. Thousands of homes could be destroyed here, but this is being done to save even more homes. Yanji Denise is in Morganza, Louisiana, where they're going to open those gates later today. Yanji, this appears to be an agonizing decision. Oh, absolutely, Dan. That is the spillway right there. It's actually made up of 125 individual gates. They'll open just a handful to start. But at its peak, this is designed to allow 600,000 cubic feet of water per second to flow through. Now, to give you some context, that is three times the flow rate of Niagara Falls at its peak. And it is a terrifying prospect for folks downstream. Across this massive stretch of Cajun country, the message is clear. Get out now. Now's the time. If you live in an impacted area, move your property, secure your documents. Now's the time to make plans to get out of harm's way. 2,500 residents will be in the direct path of the floodwaters once released. 20,000 more are at risk from swollen backwaters. Knowing that all of this that you work for is going to be gone, you just, that's all you can think about. The Bro family is racing to get out. Their house is one of many being sacrificed so that many more will stay dry. We don't even know if we're going to come back here. We may just move somewhere else. For the government, it's an impossible choice. If officials don't do anything, floodwaters heading downstream could breach the levees in Baton Rouge and New Orleans, flooding those cities and the homes of hundreds of thousands who live there. The only way to make sure that doesn't happen is to open this emergency spillway, releasing the water over hundreds of acres of Cajun country, where 2,500 people live, destroying their farms and homes. For many upriver, it's already too late. I'm looking at that street sign. I mean, it is barely peeking above the water. How do you yeah. even know where to navigate? Do you remember these streets? You just try to remember where the streets are. In Vicksburg, Mississippi, suburbs are completely submerged. Quite frankly, there's nothing you can do about the flood. You just, you know it's coming and uh, there's nothing you can do to stop it. The river here is expected to crest next week, but even then the heartache won't be over. The water will fall at a snail's pace and is expected to linger here until June. I had a conversation with the folks at the Army Corps of Engineers this morning, and at this point, they tell me it does not look like the folks who may be flooded from this will get compensation, even if their homes and farms are destroyed. They say that's because these folks know that they live in a dangerous area. They're warned repeatedly year after year, and yet they have chosen to stay. Dan and Bianna, you can expect some lawsuits to come.